Ricky, you're the embodiment of country's unbroken circle. You have carried forward the music that was passed down to you, and you've honored those who have placed faith in you. When you were six years old, Bill Monroe placed his mandolin in your hands. The mandolin was made by Lloyd Lore and signed by him on July 9, 1923, four years before Jimmy Rogers and the Carter family were discovered at the Bristol Session. Its body is scratched and scarred. Its soul is boundless. It was once destroyed, smashed into 150 pieces, but Charlie Darrington at Gibson pieced it back together, resurrecting it. It rests behind glass in this museum so that millions of people may learn about it and learn about Bill Monroe, the man who made it famous. But Mr. Monroe would want to hear it ring out tonight as his musical son receives country music's highest honor. Take it, make it sing, whip it like a mule on this night of communion and celebration as we cheer you, Dottie West, and Johnny Gimble as the newest members of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Take it away. One brother, thought you were going to do a double solo there. So. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can if you need to walk back out. I will. Talk Would you just one more time? I'll play this thing anytime. I didn't call you a thing. I'm sorry.
Unbelievable. Thank you so much. 